For me, for most of my life, I had these sort of two parallel passions, um, biology and drawing. Uh, and as exemplified sort of in college and in graduate school, they sort of ran um, side by side without ever really crossing over. And um, it wasn't until at the end of my graduate work uh, that I got the idea that maybe I should bring those two interests together. And it came when I was reading a book uh, by um, a biologist, a bee biologist named Mark Winston called The, uh, the Biology of the Honeybee. And so as I'm reading this, this book by Mark Winston, I'm thinking, geez, this is such a great story. This is something that um, someone should make a comic out of. And it wasn't until about a year later that it occurred to me that that someone could be me. And so I applied for a small grant from a foundation called the Zurich Foundation. And they provided grants for small, uh, small press creators who wanted to publish their own work. I had come up with the idea for a comic book about honeybees. I got $1,500, which was enough money to get the first issue printed. And after that, we kept printing and rolling over the money to, to pay for the next printing. And, and the reason why um, I've continued to do it is because up until that point, most of the, the cartooning I'd done was uh, pretty uninspired, um, pretty uh, derivative. And I had found something that I felt was new, was different, um, but it was also something that inspired me, right? It was weird and wonderful, and um, it was the type of thing that I could do uh, for hours on end without ever feeling tired. And so when you find something like that, you, know, you don't want to stop doing it.